How's it going party people? My name is Shannon and welcome back to my channel. So we have another episode of The Bachelorette. The Bachelorette Season 1 Sims Edition. Um, a couple weeks ago, we got rid of Francis, which is totally fine. Good riddance. He was flirting with her girl, Marissa, which he's not here for that. Like, he's not here to make friends. He's here to find the love of his life, which is supposed to be uh, Janessa. Yeah, so we got rid of Francis. That's totally fine. And oddly enough, um, just as a little recap, our front runner is Daphne, who is our villain, which is strange, but I guess maybe stranger things have happened in the Bachelor Bachelorette franchise. I don't know, probably in the sim world as well, if people play this challenge. Yeah, we're going to have a party, and then we're going to go on one single one-on-one -on -one date um, and continue those connections and continue forward in this journey. Stakes are high. Stakes are really high this time, guys, because here's the thing. Like, we're down to our final four contestants for this season anyway, so you are invested and hearts might be broken and nobody wants that. I want that actually. That's not true. I do want that. I like the drama. So come with me on this journey on the drama. See what happens. What romance is going to unfold. What stories are going to be told. Who knows what's going to happen here. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on the Sailor Single Player channel and when new videos are posted. Other than that, I have talked enough. You're here for The Sims. Let's get into The Sims. All right. Okay, so we are to, oh, I'm gonna be honest. I did not leave Daphne or Preston in this room, but um, Daphne doesn't seem to care that Francis just died and she doesn't seem to have questions as to why the Grim Reaper is in here. Preston walked into this room and now he's no longer with us, which is good. That's good. <sighs> But we're not here for Francis. We are here to move on to other things and find love and continue this journey. Quest of love. Ooh. Remember how we started and Chadwick was like our front runner? It was Chadwick and Lindsay. And Lindsay is no longer with us, although she is a ghost. Here she is just floating up the stairs. <laughs> what a terrible house to live in. I would think everyone would be like joyous and happy. Like, oh my gosh, love, how exciting. And this is just like a house of terror. Every day someone is depressed because it seems like every other day someone dies. Ooh. Oh no. But do you want to flirt next to Daphne? Because she'll be real upset. Why does everyone need to make their own meals? Excellent food right here. He's making fun of her too. Look, she's already having a bad day, Preston. That's not like you. Also, look at this rad shirt. I want that. Can you fight him, please? Do it. They despise each other. Yes, I am. Insult him. <laughs> nice. Could you imagine? What if like someone came up to you and was like, you're, you are my enemy. Like, how would you respond to that? I think I would be like, okay. That's exciting. Oh, wow. <gasps> Let's see. What are, okay, 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 okay. Let's pause. Daphne looks like she's a mad scientist. <laughs> Who is this? Marissa. <gasps> they dressed up Marissa as an alien. What? That's messed up. No, no, no. She's a robot. Robot alien? I mean, she's like our actual alien in our contestant batch here, in our cast. And <laughs> they dressed her up as an, a robot alien. And then we got another robot alien. This is Preston. I don't know what this is. Cult member? That's Janessa. And then Chadwick is dressed the same. Oh, only one mad scientist. Okay, okay. Great. Make buffalo wing tea. Ew, that sounds gross. What's happening here? Giving yourself a pep talk? I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna talk to Janessa. 
I'm gonna get that rose. <laughs> Do a passionate kiss in front of everybody. Do it. Who died here? Denise? Huh. Oh, good thing no one else is here for this. Oh, they're distracted. Oh, they saw it. Whoopsies. Oops. All right. Everyone's really sad. Not really feeling this uh, party, but that's okay. Mm. Part of me is kind of like, screw the party. This isn't working. This is not going the way I want it to, and I'm tempted to just like abandon ship. Let's talk to Chadwick a little bit. Let's talk to her two front runners. How about that? He said to her face that he does not like her, and she seemed okay with that. She's like, I know. I know. Still giving ourselves a pep talk. I kind of wish these two weren't right next to each other. <gasps> oh, nobody liked that. I don't know who she directed that to. This party was terrible. Oh, he didn't seem to mind. He was okay with that. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Uh. Whoa! Very unsuccessful party. Maybe I should have done this at the house instead where I can actually have food and things. Okay, well, you know what? Let's... What if, um... Why don't you go to... Go try to cheer this one up, please. She's just a, she's a mess. It's gonna be okay. Oh, robot alien love. Okay, so I will admit that party was not exciting and fun at all. Um, I like that by the time these Sims are like no longer depressed, another Sim has passed. So they just continuously stay depressed and sad and it's my own fault it is 1000 percent my own fault but <laughs> i mean you gotta end in some way other than that everyone should be really happy all right we're gonna go on a one-on-one -on -one with marissa which is which hopefully we'll be okay what if we went on a date oh she didn't like that well we're still gonna try to go on a date Awesome. So this is our second date with Marissa. And I think this might actually be the first second date we've gone on. Um, so I'm excited. Let's... Oh, good. It's not raining. I thought it was raining there. And I would have been sad. Um, oop. Heat wave is apparently what's going on here. <gasps> what if you guys go roller skating together? <gasps> How cute. Uh, yes. Go roller skate, please. Yeah. Go do that. She's running. She's excited. She's like, roller skating? Yes! Little did you know I was on a roller derby at one point. Not myself, Marissa. This is Marissa's backstory that I'm coming up with on the fly. Like that. Marissa, like, ran. And Janessa's like, I'm going to casually walk. And I will get there when I get there. Do not rush me. Okay? Okay. How do I not click on the rink? Can you like talk and do this? No. No, you cannot. Oh, look at them. They're terrible, but I love it. It's cute. This is how I am roller skating. This is why I don't do dangerous sports. Oof. Okay. That was cute. Oh, why don't you guys go over here? Go sit together. No more roller skating. You, you, that's enough. Ooh. Is this gonna work? Nice. Okay, okay. Tickle, maybe? Um, 
night and day. We could ask about your love life. Hopefully it's not like, oh yeah, secretly I actually have people on the side. Aw, these two are cute. Ask about woohoo, because we're getting to that point. We're only a couple episodes away. I have had woo- When? When did she have woohoo? <gasps> what? Things aren't really moving forward for me emotionally with you. How sad. Um, I don't understand what you're supposed to do when these when that comes up. Like you wouldn't continue to pursue this person then. You would just kind of just let it be. I thought we were lovebirds. What happens if you try to kiss her hand? Is that weird? This game is bad about signs. If they say no, then it's a no. You don't continue. <laughs> Quickly blow a kiss. Oh no. So close. Okay, maybe everyone should go home. That was a meh date. Not my best. Not my worst, I don't think. Uh, wait. Has this been here this entire time? Oh my goodness. I had no idea. We could have been having such a grand time. He's not into that. Oh, okay. Preston's gonna continue cooking nude. All right. You think everyone would be used to that by now? No one wants to sit next to Preston? Why? What's wrong with you guys? Is this not an open household? Whoa. What the? Ugh. Okay. Well, what if we had some hot tub time? Let's see. Who do we want to get in the hot tub with? I'm still trying to get Chadwick up because he's like on the line, him and Preston now. So let's do that. I still want Chadwick to be like my top two. Don't worry about being in a hot tub in the middle of a thunderstorm. It's totally safe and fine. <gasps> Ooh, he's so terrified. You guys need this time. You need this time. He's like, I don't want to be outside. Why don't you encourage her to follow her dreams? You got to do it. Follow your dreams. Find your soulmate. Scream incoherently, please. Yeah. Yeah. Um, horror makes the heart grow, fo grow fonder, right? I'm fine if they want to go back inside now. They're terrified. Poor thing. Irrational danger from being screamed at. Janessa is scared. Why? Who knows? I mean, he did just scream in her face. <laughs> Maybe you guys should go inside and go to bed. So it's our elimination day, which means... Who's up on the chopping block? It's between Preston and Chadwick. But honestly, it looks like it's going to be Preston. I do appreciate that Preston has been like super supportive of all the other contestants during this entire journey. And... You know, you need some kindness in these shows every now and then. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. That's Daphne down there. She's glitching out. Um. <laughs> How do I get her out from 
um, how do I get her out from swimming? Okay. Alrighty. We'll just have to see what happens there. Yeah, she's just gonna float. She's just gonna swim all around the house. Oh, there we go. I did it. I fixed it. Good job. What is she mad about? Ooh, embrace. Kiss hands. These two were soulmates, and now they're just lovebirds. It's kind of sad. I know Marissa's in the bathroom. And it's kind of awkward timing, because I'm pretty sure she was just pooping in there. But why don't you do a passionate kiss? She also did not flush. Just saying. Ooh, these are, they're lovers. Oh no. Uh, oh, she went back. Good. She went back to flush. That's good. Okay, let's have everyone change their outfits to rose ceremony wear. Awesome. Now, Janessa, please give Chadwick a rose. Look at this outfit. Look at this fly outfit. We're into it. Good job. All right, who is next? Let's do Marissa. Soulmates, are we still soulmates? Yep. Give her a rose. Oh no. No, no, no. Please don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Alright, everyone has gotten a rose, except for Preston, which is totally fine. I don't know why Preston is feeling flirty. Who was he just flirting with? Preston and Janessa. It has, it is time. It has come to that point where we need to complete the rose ceremony, which is sad because Preston was nice. <laughs> Alright. Look, Preston, there's, uh, this is hard because you didn't really do anything wrong. Like we went on good dates, we had good conversations. I think the only thing that was the problem was that like you're a little too nice. And if we've noticed anything is that Janessa kind of likes people who are harder to get, case, case in point, um, Daphne. But um, we're to the point now where things are starting to get serious and we have to take our role as the lead in The Bachelorette um, seriously. And we're here to find love. And um, I appreciate you coming along this journey with us, but I think the time has come for us to part. Unfortunately, just wasn't really there. As you can see, um, romantic interests, like we're making soulmates here and we're, you know, so. I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to part ways. I appreciate everything that you've done, Preston, but it just wasn't there. I thought we were just having some fun together. Yeah, nothing too serious. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah, things are getting serious, y'all. Um, we had to get rid of our boy Preston, who was like the sweetest and most supportive out of everyone in the house. He like really encouraged all the other relationships, but he didn't encourage his own. So now he's gone. Um, and that's how it goes in the name of love and on this journey for love. So that's pretty much it. That is going to conclude this episode. Uh, let the depressed sims begin let the healing and grieving begin the cycle kind of just continues now we have three we've got 
Daphne, Chadwick, and Marissa. One more episode, and then we finally get to the fantasy suites, which I am excited for. So we shall see what happens. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Um, and I will see you guys next time for the next episode of The Bachelorette Season 1 Sim Edition. Um, have a great week slash day whenever you're watching this. I don't know. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>